Hello everyone, my name is Alex from Ernest Alex Reads and welcome to my week three Newt's Magical Readathon reading vlog. So if you watch my week two, I'm in the same outfit, I'm on the same couch. It's literally like a second after I finished the last vlog, but because I am leaving my apartment for um, the majority of this week, I thought I would go through my reading plans for the next seven days. Um, my original goal for the Newt's Magical Readathon was to read uh, 12 books in order to qualify for the profession, the magical profession of mind medic. Um, and that actually means that I would just read two more books and then I will be a mind medic. And I thought, if Alex was in Hogwarts, um, I know that I would want to get the outstanding grade in every subject that I would take an exam in. I'm trying to stay true to my character in an academic setting, um, even if it is the magical world and not the muggle world. So this week I'm going to try to get outstanding in all five subjects that I have been um, reading in. So to become a mind medic you need to take exams in Charms, Defense Against the Dark Arts, transfigurations, potions, and muggle studies. And so for all of them except for charms and defense against the dark arts you only need to read two books so um, exceeds expectation is the grade that you need to become a mind medic. For charms and defense against the dark arts you need to get an outstanding so I'm going to get an outstanding in those two and then try and get three more outstandings just so I can feel like I'm a straight A magical student. Um, so I'm going to talk about the five books that I'm hoping to read this week. So for Charms, the outstanding prompt is to read a paperback book and I'm going to be reading what um, I said in my Newt's Magical Read, uh, my Newt's TBR that I would be reading and that is Samuel Johnson's Eternal Return by Martin Riker that I need to read definitely to become a mind medic. The other book that I definitely need to read um, to become a mind medic is the outstanding prompt for the subject of Defense Against the Dark Arts, which is a book written by an English author or set in England. Originally, I was going to read um, Eye of the Needle, but then I was like, it's a Harry Potter themed readathon. Uh, J.K. Rowling is English. It's set in England slash the United Kingdom. So why don't I read this beautiful illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So that's what I'm going to be doing when I get back to my apartment. Then the outstanding prompt. So these are now extra extra credit books. Like I'm just going I'm just being extra by reading these books but I am planning to read them. Um, the outstanding grade for Muggle Studies is to read a book by a author of color, and I am going to be picking up Behold the Dreamers, and I'm bringing this with me on my journey as well. And then the outstanding grade for, po uh, the outstanding prompt for Potions is to read a book with a prologue, and on my physical TBR, there's only one book with a prologue that I have, which is Ready Player One. Um, so I'm going to be reading this. Transfiguration. Um, the book, the outstanding prompt is to read a book that's over 500 pages. I had originally started um, in cart week one of the Newt's Magical Readathon as extra credit and I'm going to be finishing this. Like I, I know I'm technically breaking the rules by picking this one back up um, but because this is not part of my mind medic this is just me being extra. I'm going to let it for me be okay um, and I'm doing like the grades that I need to do to get a mind medic. Um, I'm doing by the rules and so I'm okay with breaking that tiny little rule. So that is my reading plan for this week. Hello everyone, it is Saturday so that means this week and this vlog did not go according to plan. I filmed one clip on Saturday when I was leaving uh, my apartment and then I filmed nothing until I'm back in my apartment seven days later. That's just how it is but I thought I would do an update because I did get a little bit of reading done. So for charms I was gonna read Samuel 
Johnson's Eternal Return. Yeah, so I read 30 pages of that, but it wasn't really for me at the moment. Um, it isn't a very good readathon material book, and I wasn't in the mood today, um, this week, so I switched it up. So for the grade of outstanding for the subject of charms, I um, read and finished Behold the Dreamers. Um, I was going to read this for another challenge, but I'm doing it for outstanding because the prompt is to read a paperback book, and this is a paperback book. I then bought and started reading um, Queenie by Candace Cardi Williams. Um, I have a hundred more pages of this and I'm reading this to complete the outstanding grade in Muggle Studies, which is to read a book um, written by a person of color. Um, and so that's what I'm reading currently and I'm going to try to finish this today and read. Um, so I'm going to try to finish this today. And tomorrow I'm going to try to read Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which would complete the Defense Against the Dark Arts outstanding prompt, which is to read a book um, set in England or um, written by an English author. That is my little update. This video is going to be considerably shorter than the last two, um, but I'm still making my way. And if I finish Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stones by Sunday evening, I will have gotten all of the qualifications I need to become a mind medic. So I'm happy about that and um, I'm ready to get some more reading done. Hi everyone, it is Sunday and I have a little bit of a reading update for you guys. Um, uh, last night I finished Queenie by Candace Cardi Williams. Um, I think I'm gonna give this book a three star because I think that there are a lot of good things about this book, um, but my personal reading experience wasn't like super amazing. So I think it does a lot of really important work um, in literature about the Black Lives Matter movement, um, being a woman of color in England in this case. Um, it has a lot of discussions about mental health, about the stigma around getting therapy. It talks a lot about being a woman. Um, there's a lot of talk around self-worth um, and childhood trauma that I thought were um, very important and really um, packaged into the plot of this story um, well. And the only reason why it has um, a pretty average rating is that I didn't enjoy reading it. Um, I w didn't feel super connected to any of the characters. Um, yeah, I just did, I wasn't feeling it and it might be, I kind of feel like I might be on the edge of a reading slump, um, which I'm not super thrilled about and that might have affected my rating of this novel in particular. I just think that reading 10 books in 10 days was a lot for me and now I'm like kind of not wanting to read as much and that is like negatively affecting my reading uh, that I am doing. So I've completed two books this week. Yay! And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bit more university work um, and then I'm gonna start my reread of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So I will update you when I've read something.